With Rochester expected to continue battling hot temperatures over the next few days, Med City pools and beaches are seeing plenty of visitors trying to cool off. Not surprisingly, KIMT News Series Max Haslow spoke with pool goers trying to stay cool all across the city today. He joins us live from Silver Lake Pool. Max. Well, Jess, right about now is the peak of the uh, warm temperatures that we're going to get today. And believe me, you can definitely feel it right now. Uh, but that's not stopping a lot of these uh, pool visitors from uh, soaking in the sun, uh, cooling off in that nice uh, pool. And there's a few that are over there sitting in the shade right now. But believe me, right here is not the only place in the city that people have been going to cool off. Now, over at Lincolnshire Park, people have been using the splash pad all day and sitting in the uh, shade as their young ones play. And uh, Cascade Lake also had plenty of visitors playing in the water or soaking in the sun. And the inflatable water park at Foster Errand was pretty crowded as well. I spoke with some folks about what they were doing to beat the heat today. We headed out here to do some paddleboarding with the family. We're going to the splash pad. It's really fun. Yeah. yeah. We're hanging out at Foster Errand's. On the, um, inflatables. the inflatables. <laughs> Just have a fun time with friends. Mm -hmm. Now, even if you are out here having fun, make sure you stay hydrated and get in the shade every once in a while. According to the Mayo Clinic, if your body temperature gets to about 104 degrees Fahrenheit, that is the perfect time for heat stroke to develop. But live in Rochester, Max Haslow, KIMT News 3. Thank you, Max. Hoping he gets to dip his feet in that pool. As a reminder, and as Aaron has been telling us, our area will be under an excessive heat warning until tomorrow. An excessive heat watch will then take effect until Thursday evening.